Welcome to the Master of Cancer Sciences capstone. A capstone subject is taken in the final year of an educational program. It is designed to draw together the theoretical aspects of your studies through some type of practical hands-on learning, demonstrating best practice in the field. The Cancer Sciences capstone asks you to complete a research project, which will help you to assimilate, analyze, and critically evaluate existing knowledge within a scientific paradigm conduct research within a translational or clinical environment, formulate testable hypotheses aimed at experimental design, independently manage a research project, effectively construct and express coherent scientific arguments, and prepare and deliver scientific results in both a verbal and written format. Your research project will span over two terms. Part one and part two need to be taken consecutively in either semester one or semester two. In order to be eligible for entry into the capstone, you must have completed at least four subjects, including the two core subjects, Foundations of Cancer and Cancer Research. The Cancer Sciences curriculum has been designed to give you the most integrated experience across your entire body of learning, which is why Cancer Research has been designed as a feeder subject for the capstone. In Cancer Research, you will develop a research idea, get feedback from your facilitators, and end the subject by completing a project proposal. You can then use this proposal with any feedback from your supervisors as the basis for your real-world research project in the capstone. In addition to defining the specifics of your research proposal, the cancer research subject will also help you to develop your ethics submission and think through a few other considerations, like whether the size and scope of the project is feasible in a six-month timeframe, whether you have the appropriate skills and supports around you to successfully undertake the project, mapping the exact project timelines, and some tips and tricks for finding a suitable project-specific supervisor. However, we appreciate that not all students will want to undertake an original research project. So despite this being our preferred pathway to ensure that your project is aligned with your individual research interests, we also have other research streams on offer, including a university allocated project and a scholarly review. A university allocated project will usually involve working with a pre-established research team to interrogate existing data sets with pre-approved ethics. Whilst a scholarly review project requires you to complete a structured evidence synthesis of the literature on a topic of your choosing. Regardless of which research stream you choose, you will still need to go through the process of designing your own research project for the cancer research subject. This is to help you develop the skill set, a key learning outcome of the entire cancer sciences program. To ensure that you are fully supported throughout your capstone studies, all students will be assigned a university supervisor who will have the role of answering assignment related queries and ensuring that you stay on track and achieve all of your project milestones. While your supervisors can aid with ethics, data collection and data analysis, you are responsible for writing up your final project report. The focus of the capstone is on gaining real world experience. So the subject takes a toolkit approach that walks you through the research process from start to finish. We expect that you will engage with these toolkit modules as necessary during the capstone, which is why part of your final mark for the capstone is based on your engagement with this learning content. The other three assessments for the capstone include a structured literature review, an oral presentation, and the final research report submitted at the end of the study period. Whilst the toolkit approach means that you have the flexibility to engage with the online materials as required, we do expect that you attend the four webinars we will be running in alternate weeks of each term that will cover different elements of the research process. Parallel to this, you will also have regular online fortnightly meetings with your supervisors along the journey to check in. These expectations will be set out in the supervisory agreement submitted in week three of the capstone. So where to from here? Once we see that you are eligible for entry into the capstone, we will email you a topic approval form to complete approximately three months prior to the start of each capstone offering. We then assign you to a project and a university supervisor based on your preferences. We will email you introducing you to your university supervisor who will provide any feedback on your proposed project. You will then set up your initial meetings with your supervisory team. The first webinar is held in week zero to ensure that everyone is set up adequately and ready to get researching. As the capstone is a graduate level subject, 
We expect you to be able to be self-directed, proactive in organizing yourself, your learning, undertaking your research and planning your supervisory interactions. There will be plenty of opportunities and avenues along the way to ask us questions and to get assistance. So how can you get started? If you want to bring your own project to the capstone, start thinking about approaching researchers you know in your departments, or do some research in an area that interests you and begin reaching out to potential supervisors. Explain to the supervisors what the capstone is about and what will be expected of them, and get a preliminary approval for when you get that exciting enlisting call from the capstone team. Have more questions? Feel free to contact us.